All right, another day, another Niji Sanji drama for us to cover. Rev says it keeps getting worse for Niji Sanji. Let's see what happened this time. Hey, what's up, guys? Rev here. So today we're going to be covering another round of Niji Sanji related drama. Oh now, boy. it's one thing when you have a current talent or their current management making some sort of a mistake that causes controversy. But it's another thing and often even more informative when you have former Niji Sanji talents who share stories about their time with the company. And that's what we're going to be looking at today because the this should be the spicy stuff, right? Because if former talents, I'm not sure if they're still legally bound by contracts to not shit talk, but quite often when you work for a company, they have these contracts to say like, you cannot shit talk us. It's like an NDA or something. But now that they're out, let's see what people say. Michi reveals she nearly got kicked out of Niji HQ over her silver play button. The former Niji Sanji talent, now returned to her past life account, Michi, has shared a very bizarre story. She claims that during her time with Niji Sanji, she visited their headquarters, and during that time, she made a joke about her mm -hmm. silver play button, and then she was almost kicked out of their headquarters <laughs> as a result. Okay. Now, before we get into the details of this current story, let's talk about silver play buttons, okay? This 100k subs. That's when you get this. I heard they're discontinuing this. If we ever actually break 100k within the next two to three years, if I actually am, if I make it in time just to get the play button, I will take a video where I piss on this thing and I throw in a trash can. This is a very sore subject. Don't bring it up around the Niji sisters. So silver play buttons are an award that's supposed to be given to YouTube channels who achieve 100,000 subscribers. Which is actually so stupid because like you can simply just do that by just spamming shorts. You won't get any money you won't have any long form content you can just spam shorts and because the shorts algorithm works at a different rate than the long form content also you make little to no fucking money off of it you can just like have like a uh, many 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 thousands or tens of thousands like 100k sub plus channel that's just fucking catfishing just due to shorts it's so fraudulent now if you're hated by youtube like me you just never get one even though you hated by youtube i just realized he has 680,000 subs holy shit reapply for four years straight but that's a story for another day however normally if you're in a company like hollow live you you pass this achievement you get your silver play button you can take it home with you and display it cool. however you want if it's hollow live but what about niji sanji but if you're with niji sanji it's a different case they do not give their talents their what? silver play buttons why they keep it for themselves and why so like think of it like this you're like the owner. Well, maybe this is a bad example because I don't really know how this works in the sports industry either. But let's say like you're the, like the owner of a team and your team wins, right? And it's a trophy. That's a different thing because these are individual awards. Maybe a better award would be like you're an owner of a team. And let's say LeBron James got MVP that year. Are you then going to keep the fucking MVP award in your own place as the owner? No, these are something that your talents did, right? I was going to say like championship trophy and stuff. I think that works in a different way, but it sounds fucking insane. Like the CEO just takes the play button home. Basically treat it as a fancy paperweight for their corporate office. Okay. We have many different tweets, many different experiences shared that make it very clear that's what's going on here. And when Michi went back to her past life account, one of the first things she thought about was Wow, I can actually get my silver play button, unlike my time with my former company. I also want to get a silver play button. I don't know if I can say that on Twitch, but I'm very new to the platform. Yeah, if you don't know what it is, it's, there's a thing on YouTube. 100K. You like 100K. I've always wanted one. I always thought it was super cool. I saw like a lot of the streamers I watch, they have it on their background and it looks so cool. I want to have one so then I can like put it on top of my fridge. <laughs> this is the only thing I've been thinking about. So that clip was from a few months ago. So let's now return to the main basis of this video today. This story that she shared on stream recently talking about an experience she had when she visited the Niji Sanji headquarters and was nearly kicked out and also scolded kicked for making out? a very clear joke about her silver play button. And for context, she is referring to herself with this name, Bethany. Once upon a time, a girl named Bethany was traveling. And Bethany decided to visit. I love how you used to do this shit when it's just like, this is like VTuber shit, right? Like corporal VTuber, you got to have an alias. So it's not me. I'm going to tell you a story, but I'm going to, obviously everyone knows I'm talking about myself, but I'm going to, I have to word it in such a way due to legal con like obligations. It's so fucking stupid, but it's so funny. Is it a, um, a building office yeah. in which Bethany was working for? 
Yeah, and, and Bethany is working for Sanji Niji. I think that's the company, right? Yeah, different VTuber agency. Not Niji Sanji. Someone, someone else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And during that visit, Bethany was uh, very excited, you know? Be <laughs> is Bethany single, says the fucking comment section. Hey, stop being so horny in chat. Stop it. Because this is where Bethany is uh, working. So Bethany was very excited. And then as they were giving like the tour and etc, etc, Bethany saw that on the walls, there were a bunch of cool achievements. The plaques. One of them had Bethany's name on it. She should have just fucking stole it and left, bro. Actually, that's when she was still, I think, was with Niji Sanji, right? I'm, I'm saying, like, right now, if she had access, like, to the office, just fucking go in and steal. Actually, that's probably a fucking lawsuit. You can't just fucking go into private, you know, private property and steal something and just leave. And Bethany wanted to take a picture. But no can do. That's Not okay. even a picture? That's okay. Like, can't even take a picture? Okay. You know, Bethany understood. Sometimes privacy is a very big thing. And Bethany is a very private person. So Bethany did not take mind into that. Okay. But then during this time, Bethany made a joke about jokingly being like, you know, the hand gesture where you like, oh, shh, yoink. You know what I mean? Stealing. So Bethany made a joke being like, Yoinking? ooh, shh, yoink. Like that. <laughs> and like laughing about it. And then she got Bethany kicked out. Got scolded for making a distasteful joke. Now, was Bethany right? No. I like, I get it that it's private property, and according to whatever the contract, it is within Nijitanzi's rights to withhold those plaques. And if she was trying to take a picture within private property, and you know, it can basically say no pictures allowed, I get it, right? On paper, on paper, I get it. But just because it's on paper, doesn't mean that you can't take a step back and actually critically think about the situation and realize how fucking stupid this is. This company thinks that they're, like the CEO thinks that he's part of the fucking team. His, all his VTubers are going out there and getting these accolades and basically having these trophies. Then he collects them, puts it on his own office. He gives no credits to them. He collects that shit. Can't even take a fucking picture. And even such a harmful little joke of like yoinking is enough to warrant some sort of criticism, some sort of scolding. This is actually insane. Perhaps that is a bad joke, but considering Bethany was working in the entertainment industry, Bethany thought people would take jokes easily and not have people think that Bethany was actually a thief. And a little bit, that made Bethany feel pretty bad. Because Sad. it made Bethany feel like, wait a minute, did they really think that Bethany would steal? What kind Maybe. of person do you think <laughs> Bethany is? You know, a Bethany thief. had an ego. 100%. Okay. So Bethany's not completely in the right. But it did kind of hurt Bethany's ego just a little bit. So obviously this is a very bizarre story and another bad look for Niji Sanji's management. I mean, it makes them look extremely insecure. She is the one who earned that play button and she yep. can't even make jokes about it or even photograph herself in front of it. But on top of that, what she's claiming in that story is a direct contradiction to statements we heard only a few months ago from the current Niji Sanji Ian talent, Claude oh. Clawmark, who went on a several minute long rant about silver play buttons where he claims that talents could see them anytime they want and would receive these play buttons if they would just effing ask. What? So hold up, I thought they just kept that shit, but now it's, you can ask and they'll give it to you? And now, now it's gonna stay at the office next to all the other really cool buttons. Which by the way, I think, okay, there, there are some people who are sitting here, I, I, I guess this is gonna be something to touch on just a little bit, but I, did, I talked about this in like the membership post too. Uh, spoilers by the way, I guess. Um, you know, I guess here's the thing. I know there are some people who are being like, oh my god, how come, how come the livers can't have their own button? How come they can't take it home? And it's like, all right, dog, you know what? If we really wanted one, we could just fucking ask, but really? whatever, man. You know, I think the bigger thing for me is that it's really fucking cool the fact that I even have a button to begin with. You know what I mean? If I could even have a button, man, that shit's already cool enough. So so far, out of context, right? I don't know anything about this guy, and we have we need to let him cook. But so far, this sounds like corpo boot sucking, right? Bro is deep throating Niji Sanji and going on a PR like a defense for the company, saying you guys are making us look bad 
right? Like, you can just ask and get the play button. You should be happy that you're even employed and got an opportunity to get the 100k subs. Right? This is the way it's coming off. I don't know if he actually thinks that way, but that's the way it's coming off to me right now. Second of all, second of all, I think it's all the more important the fact that, like, damn, I can have that shit next to, next to the other cool people who also have the really cool... So your explanation is, wow, aren't you glad that my silver plaque that I earned is mounted with thousands, sorry, not thousands, tens of other silver plaques that other VTubers in my same corp has earned but can't have? It's such an honor. That's what it sounds like right now. I, and like, again, I don't know this guy. Based on this clip, it just sounds like he's deep throating the boot of Niji Sanji. Button. And I was like, damn. I want that. You know what I mean? So further on in her story, she would also share some evidence that proves that she is loyal to Niji Sanji. She was loyal when she was there. And that this whole accusation that she might be stealing the silver play button is totally insulting and also just ridiculous. How would she even slip out of there with it in the first place? I don't know. Just fucking take it off the wall and run. <laughs> I could see myself doing that. But she would share a story of how <laughs> yeah. she flew eight hours to return some items that belonged to Niji Sanji because what? they wouldn't answer. They wouldn't communicate with her. And that caused a lot of issues. Bethany will never keep something that does not belong to Bethany. Bethany contacted them like, where can I drop them off? And they never said shit. So at that point, Bethany could have stolen it. But no, because you know what, chat? Bethany has a very strong honor code. So all right. Bethany held on to that. Bethany's a good girl. All the way to where the f their job is, which is like an eight hour flight and returned it personally. No one was like, okay, Bethany, send it over here. And no, Bethany. She's such a good person. If that was, if I was in Bethany's shoes, man, oh, I would have been so fucking petty, bro. Straight up, I almost didn't return the fucking work laptop after my internship during my software engineering co-op internship at a tech company. At the very end, I was like, you know what? <laughs> shit, I mean, you didn't, you're not actually asking me to return all the shit. Well, no, they actually did say, all right, you got to return the laptop. But you know what I kept? The batteries and the mouse, and I think I kept the mouse as well. They only said laptop. They gave us, you know, a fucking mouse too. I kept the mouse, and I think I kept the batteries. <laughs> Listen, I'm a, I'm a demon though, right? Bethany's a good girl. He did that. Even though Bethany could have just stolen that thing, she could have kept it to herself. No, Bethany brought it with her, gave it back personally to the person Great. that deserves to have this item because. I don't know if they deserve this shit. I know they have the rightful ownership, but goddamn, this makes them just sound so fucking bad, man. Bethany paid for those fucking plane tickets, too. You know for sure that they're not reimbursing that bullshit. That's the kind of person Bethany is. Very big honor code. So the fact that someone assumed that Bethany would sink so low to steal something really hurt Bethany's mm. ego. So like many other stories that come from past talents of Niji Sanji, Communication seems to be a very big issue. In fact, this story with Michi sounds a lot like some stories shared by Mint ever since she returned to her past life account. She has shared her experiences with <laughs> Code Boomer 10% off of gamer subs. Niji Sanji and another situation where communication and Niji Sanji basically taking no action caused a lot of issues for her. Why is there such a lack of communication? The whole thing of English brands being so shit is because the managers and the turnover rate of new talents and not understanding how to, you know, maintain those talents, right? And when I say talents, I'm not talking about just the livers. I'm talking about like the managers who are supposed to be handling those talents. It's just such a shit show. Language barrier? Trying to cut on resources and have a skeleton crew that can barely understand what's going on and this is causing the conflict of language barrier? I don't know. Back in heaven, right? This is VTubers. That's her lower. I'm like, back in heaven. What the fuck? What? What? What do you mean? Gifts, and I, we were told that we would receive them, and I never received them. And I think about it all the time because I just feel so bad about it. How there were people that were giving certain things, or we bought something with their own money, and then I just never Damn. received the gift. So um, I don't. I'm gonna assume the gift are from Niji, and the heaven is back when she was with Niji. No. Too. 
like the people would give stuff and then it would just never show up in the mail i'm really sorry if that happened that's why i'm excited this time that i will actually be able to receive have a delivery caught lacking <laughs> there was stuff too that i was really looking forward to sad but, uh, did you ever receive your letters i did receive those that's why i thought it was strange that i never got the gifts yeah so overall we have another example of a former niji sanji talent sharing something that makes the company look really bad we already knew the silver play button was an issue for niji sanji and this is new to me because i'm new to this vtuber drama shit but oh that's fucking bad man if hollow Life, their direct competitor who is doing the best right now you know is allowing their talents to have these play buttons like what don't you think that it's in niji's best interest to follow suit like why are you being so totalitarian about this why why are you why are you fucking seizing that shit and not letting your talents get it and what was with the fucking the uh remember this guy in the middle this dude was saying just ask for the play button and i'm not sure if this is a fucking meme or not right this guy's just saying just ask bro and i honestly don't know if he's being ironic and just memeing and like you can't do that or if he's just licking corpa boot because i'm just new here i don't know oh to keep on to these play buttons that they didn't earn themselves it is such a petty and insecure thing to do and this is the next level they'll basically throw you out of the headquarters after mm. everything you've done for them they'll still treat you like that just because you make a simple joke about play buttons it's so bad but another bad look for niji sanji who would but at this point who would have guessed right we all knew that this shit's a fucking black company and everything is so fucking bad but that seems to be extent of the drama basically <laughs> The CEO thinks that he's on part of the team and he's withholding the fucking <laughs> plaque from all the livers and, you know, a previous talent went by. And go, go, go to Rev's channel and like this video and sub to his channel if you haven't, but just, just stop watching these. Nah, this is a chicken thing, right? I don't know. VTuber drama like this is out of my scope. I'm just dabbling on the drama here and there, but every time that new shit comes like this, I'm just like, oh boy. What do they do next? And you know that this won't be the last one. I'll see you in the next week if there's 100% going to be next one next week.